This is the Saturday, December 28th evening game. This is the 7 p.m. Uh, finale. And what a matchup this is. Ohio State, Ryan Day, Clemson, Dabo Sweeney, 213-0 teams. Uh, you look at the stats, I mean, it's just about as even across the board as you can possibly get. Line opened up initially at, at all of the Vegas sports books at Ohio State minus one and was quickly bet the other way. It now sits at Clemson minus two. The total opened at 64. It is now at 63 and a half. Strength of schedule is an issue here. Ohio State had the number four Massey strength of schedule. Clemson had the number 57 Massey strength of schedule. That's kind of strange to me. Clemson, number one in rushing yards per attempt. Number nine in defensive rushing yards per attempt. Ohio State, number six in rushing yards per attempt. Number six in defensive rushing yards per attempt. Uh, Offensive points per game. Ohio State, number one. Clemson, number four. Defensive points per game. Ohio State, number two. Clemson, number one. Like, these two teams are, I don't want to say mirror images because they're not, but they are both dominating. Like, there was a big three, and there's a massive separation between them and everybody else. Yes. You're splitting hairs between what you think about all of these teams. Yeah. Um, My question is, will Justin Fields be healthy? Healthy enough to run and whatnot because they they've been holding him back for a little bit. He's had a couple weeks. He's yeah. He will have had three weeks by this point. If he can, Clemson's defensive line is not as dominant as they have been. Now you and I talked about this before. They kind of run like a box and one with Isaiah Simmons, and they they don't necessarily use him as a spy per se. But while they are number. Let's see, number nine stats lie in defensive rushing yards stats per attempt. Lie. They have not played anybody nope. that will be able to run the football. They haven't played a top fifty offense. So how great yeah. is your defense? And that's the question. Now I I do statistically they're better than they were last year. Yeah, they had eight NFL guys last year. Don't give me that shit. There's something to be said about Brent Venables yep. and what he can do because he no can coach circles no around all sorts of people. But him against Ryan Day is a Great matchup. I cannot wait to watch this game. Great matchup. Cannot wait. Um, I will tell you this. There are so many people on Clemson right now. Everybody's thinking, oh, it's little really Dabo. Da, 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 da. I, I'm talking national media, et cetera. Okay. I'm going Ohio State plus two here. I think, it, I'm not calling for chicanery, whatever. I think that Ohio State matches up. Really well with Clemson. I think they're going to win the football game. I have two schools of thought about this. So I'm I'm going under the 63 and a half here. By the way, okay. I, I think they both teams play this very tight uh, because both teams have really good defenses. See, we disagree with both of those. Things. I disagree with that. Okay, I just do. I'm going to go over. I think both of these defensive numbers are totally fraud, completely fraud. Not one good offense between the two of them. All season long. Michigan, best offense. Either of these teams scored. They're okay. They're not great. They're not, they're not gangbusters by any stretch of the imagination. So let's put up some stats against some badass offensive teams. Okay. And let's call ourselves really good. Both these offenses, incredibly good. So I think they're going to score. I think they're going to score a lot. And I don't think either one of these guys are going to be conservative because that is not their nature. They are That's going a to very good point. Let a rip, take a chip, and it's going to happen. So the over is a, a, a stone-cold lock. When it comes to the outcome of the game, I feel two completely different ways. There is a part of me that thinks, I think Clemson is the better football team. And the only reason they're three and not two or one is because of the level of their competition. They deserve to be here because their resume says they're here. But they seem to me to be the more complete team. I think Ohio State looked really good against a bunch of mediocre teams. Yeah, hey, we got a win against a MAC champion. Congratulations. 
we got a win against the AAC runner-up. Congratulations. Those aren't great football teams. Um, I think these teams are really close. I watched teams in the Big Ten open up holes and be able to run on Ohio State. Now, if they had real speed, if they had true speed, those are house calls. But because it was against teams like Northwestern, they're seven yards and then they get tackled. Okay. Etienne. That's not, a good point. He's not Bowser. All no. right. He's just not. He's elite level. And if Clemson opens those holes up, it's house calls. They're ball game. That's how I feel if I think this game is played straight up. But the other side of me believes in voodoo and karma. <laughs> Chicanery. <laughs> I think the entire world wants to see Joe Burrow against Ohio State. I think the whole world wants to see that. They also want to see Dabo get slapped the hell down because he cries like he's the victim of something. We've won 30 games in a row and nobody respects us. <laughs> How the hell does nobody respect you? What do you want? You're, you want us to feel sorry for you? Ain't nobody crying for you, Dabo. Shut up. So I believe that every call will go Ohio State's way because they want to see LSU and Ohio State. I believe that the ball will bounce every which way to go to Ohio State. And so do I think what I truly feel if this game is played straight up or do I think what will happen if all the stars and, and planets align right and the weird shit that happens in college football begins to happen. And I think I'd go with Ohio State. And so you're going to take Ohio State? I, I'm going to tell you, if this game's played straight up, Clemson beats them, I think they beat them bad. I, I think this is 14, 17 points. I really believe that. And I absolutely think we're going way over. These t- both these teams are scoring 35, 40 apiece. They have every week against everybody. Yeah. Michigan's just, a really mm. good defense. Michigan's a better defense than Clemson. Ooh, uh, let's not Okay. Let's not go crazy. Okay. There. That's fine. That's fine. You can not go crazy there. That's okay. I um I, I just, just believe, I, I believe that. Because okay. I ain't played nobody. I, I'm okay, okay. I'm with you. I get where you're coming from. Uh I just see the game completely differently than you do. I think it's going to be crazy scoring. And we're going to see that both these defenses were frauds. Were absolute frauds. Now, you'll see it as they were absolute frauds. Other people will say, look at the offense. Look at the da-da-da-da-da. That's great. I think both can be right, by the way. Because I do believe in these offenses. I think they're crazy good. I think both these quarterbacks are unbelievable. I think both of these running backs are probably the two best running backs in all of college football. Yeah, Yeah, probably right. I mean, J.K. Dobbins and Travis at the end is what a matchup. I so, mean, it's just ridiculous. That's the way I see it. Crazy, stupid, high scoring. And you know what? No. I'm, I, I believe Clemson is that much better than Ohio State. Ohio State should have gotten beat by Wisconsin. Wisconsin folded like a cheap suit in the second half. If, if Michigan doesn't crap all over themselves in the first half of that game by giving up 14 points both ways, then that game is completely different as well. Clemson at I think no it, point in time it, was in danger of having that. having Clemson in the national title game against LSU if LSU wins. That's happening. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that in bowl preview number four. Um, that would almost be like the perfect setup. I disagree for, for Burrow. I think I think the world wants Burrow to play the team he left. I, oh, I agree. I think the perfect setup for every storyline out there is Ohio State. But it's it's not a bad consolation for the team on a 29-game winning streak. Okay. Right? Like, pretty good matchup. Well, either one of these is a really good matchup just because these three teams are all so close. That's true. That is true. I think I think television would probably want Ohio State. Um, well, yeah, Ohio State's going to draw the bigger number out of all three of them. There you go. All right, so we're going completely opposite here. I've got Ohio State plus two. I think they win the game, and I'm going under 63.5 because I believe in the defenses. You think it it will be an offensive explosion because the defenses are frauds. I do. And Clemson will win going away. I do. Okay. 
That's totally reasonable. I think they're the better team. I think that makes perfect sense. I do think they're the better team. Now we'll get to listen to Dabo a lot after this one. God, if he loses, I'm just going to laugh. You realize there's like a two-week break between I know. this game? God, and... I, it, there's not enough time to, to have a, a playoff. We can't add eight teams. That's insane. Not enough time. <laughs> this kid's got to go to school, guys. Because everybody's at school this week, right? Yeah. Good gracious. 